a big loop in the line. Oh, there he is. Okay, Ed, he's like, oh, there he is right there. You gotta get that in fast. Yep, real, real, real. Go, Ed, go. I am. Yeah. Okay, we're back to tight. You might just, you might just be hung up on that. Get the corner in, and then go back to that. Okay, I'm backing down. It's gonna get easier to reel. Okay, now Ed, reel that center in. Now the fish is somewhere over off our starboard side, but we gotta get the line back straight. Take your time, be very careful. Beautiful, good job. All right, boys, uh, this is what we're looking for out here. That is a very large fish. All right, well, we're out for a full day today. We got a nice marlin on. We're at 13 miles, just cross over about 400 fathom. And uh, we got a nice blue on, he came in and ate. What lure was that, Ganku? Yeah, nine inch Ganku, one of Ed's lures. So he started jumping like crazy, took a lot of line. But we got him slowed down, we're going back to him now. Did you guys see that thing jumping all over the place? Bob, did you see that thing jump? Okay, well it's a nice, it was a nice one, Marlin, blue Marlin. Yeah, a real nice one on his boat. Big healthy, yeah, big healthy fish. Yeah. He's moving around a lot down there. Biggest marlin we've had hooked in a while. Yeah. That fish took a lot of line, put a big loop in the line, and then started jumping right, right saw back towards us. Yeah, Ed was standing up here, saw the bite. It's pretty cool. But we're making some progress. We got him slowed down. Probably got about oh, yeah. 300 yards right of line out right now. He took a lot of line. Did you see him come up in the lure? I saw the swirl. Oh, dude. dude yeah. The tail was like half the tail down the water. Yeah. We got a long way to go, but if we are lucky enough to get this fish up, we will release him. We do keep any marlin here in Hawaii, but we'll take the opportunity to release this one if he comes up healthy. making progress this fish is down deep as soon as he stopped the first run he went down deep getting line back pretty good here Hundred fifty yards to go here. We're still straight up and down on him. Can't back down on him or anything. Just working him in. Angler's doing a really good job working with the waves, getting some line back. He just took another 40, 50 yard run, so we were gaining pretty good, and he took off. He's just. Dogging us down deeper, stalemate. Oh yeah, we'll try. As best we can. Yeah, Will's got a camera too. We'll do as best we can and get the guys to look at it. Sometimes though they're pretty quick when they wanna they kick, yeah. you know we gotta kinda let it go so they don't hurt ourselves. Forty minutes in she's finally coming up here. Every, every kick right now, she just wasted more and more energy. All right, we're getting real close. We got him at about 20 yards right here. This color right there. Be careful, Ed, because he looked like he had uh, some energy left. Good though, we want him healthy so we can send him off.
Yep, soon as we get that swivel, <clears throat> Ed can grab that leader, but you're doing good. You on leader? Okay, where is he? Might want that side. Be careful, one single wrap, he's still got some life. That's a nice fish. That is nice. It's what? funny, she's really kind of... All, all over the place. Yeah. Okay, see if you can get right back on. Right there, man. Other side, go to the other side. Ditch leader twice as fish is fighting pretty good, so we had him on leader there. As soon as we get some extra pressure on him, he takes off. Try changing the angle up on him a little bit, see if we can get a little more line. We had him right under the boat there for like 10 15 minutes. He just took like another 100 yard run up, see, pretty impressive. Bumped up the drag a couple more pounds and Going back to him again. Got the swivel coming out of the water right there. Boy, what a tease that is, seeing that swivel coming out of the water. Now look at it, just like bodies deporting and twisting all over the place. Try to get it down. Just like all like. Yeah, do the best you can to get leader right here. Dude, that fish is all over the place. My gosh. Where is he? Oh, oh, this fish is wild, dude. dude. That's as hard as we've been able to pull on him, though. Dude, he's really big. Where 
Where is he? I can't see him. You gotta just talk. Just talk to me, okay? What do you wanna do, Will? Try to get him if you can. Yeah, that's fine. He's coming up. Don't let him go under the boat. Watch that line. Okay, this is where you get him, right here. Okay, I'm coming down. Golly. Okay, we're gonna slide the lure up and we're gonna cut him off. I'm gonna try to hold the bill so I can revive him a bit though. Before you cut it, let me get the bill. Okay. Look at that. That was a 700 pounder. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dude, good job. <laughs> Swam off. He'll, that guy's gonna live and he'll be good between six and seven. Six to seven hundred. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. That makes you feel alive, there, eh, boys. See that thing got its whole body out of the water. Ooh, that was awesome. There, we got him. Quite a bit bigger than than I thought he was. That was one of the hardest fighting fish I've ever had. We ended up fighting that fish for over three hours. So pretty comfortable calling that guy over six hundred. Probably closer to seven hundred there. That was a. A big one, real big one. Ate that Ganku nine inch, which has got silver, blue, and green flashaboo. It's one of Ed's lures. Fish fought really smart. It uh, jumped about 15 times right off the bat. Took about 300, 400 yards, and then it went down deep and just stayed right under the boat. So we backed down on him as much as we could, had him straight up and down, and then he just kind of dogged us under the boat there. Had him up on leader the first time, probably 40, 45 minutes. Ditch leader four or five times there. He'd come up straight up and down. Ed would take a couple wraps, start pulling on him and he'd take off. So not ideal leaving him with that hook. I was having trouble pulling that hook out and to take the opportunity to send him off healthy there while we could. So he was tired, but he'll be fine. Swam off good. Pretty awesome. Ed did great. Our angler did, did an awesome job down there. Really patient, listened well. Got line when he could, did a great job. Turn for home here, get the lines back out. Start heading back that way. No more bites, we're heading into the harbor, just clearing lines now, but yeah, one bite, one fish today, and a nice one. One of the biggest fish I've ever caught, and one of the hardest fighting fish I've ever caught. Amazing how how powerful some of those fish are. But yeah, it was a good day. Ed did a great job, the angler did a great job. Awesome experience and awesome fish.